With this setup right here, we're able to make $250,000 of product every month out of a 600 square foot shop. And today I'm gonna to show you how it works. Those numbers are impressive and I knew it wasn't gonna be easy, but I went into this building a fully functioning homemade submarine from scratch. So if I could do that, I knew I could build a fully automated factory from scratch. And that's where you get leverage to scale a product. I built each of these machines. If I bought them, they'd cost over a quarter million to buy. <laughs> How much did it cost you? Under 10,000. Like everything in manufacturing, everything starts with the giant drums of raw material. These 55 gallon drums are like 500 pounds. They're not easy to move. So what we do is use a drum pump to pump the liquid out straight into our batch mixers. So how do we mix everything? We use these two 55 gallon drums as batch mixers. And with the batch mixers, you can put out some pretty high volume. At the bottom here, you'll see that there is a dispersion blade and that allows us to have high shear mixing. Right behind me, we have a negative pressure air filter that takes the fumes off the top of this while it's mixing and directs it outside and filters it. The other nice thing is that these mixing drums clean themselves. These are how the bottles look when we get them in cases fresh out of the box before they're labeled or filled. This is 2000 of them right here. And uh, sometimes depending on the demand, we'll get a shipment of this every single week. This is the conveyor line right here. You stack all the bottles on here. They move down to the automatic bottle labeling machine, which was originally a semi-automatic labeler converted into a fully automatic labeler with Arduino, some sensors and stuff like that. That's what powers this thing. This conveyor right here will hold almost 200 bottles. You'll move through that pretty quickly, about a half hour. And then they get ejected out of here, come down this conveyor, gets flipped up, moves through here to this sensor. That'll tell it to fill. When it reaches a certain fill level, it'll automatically stop and let it move down this conveyor. Uh, this is the bottle capping station. Uh, this is the only manual part of the process currently and will be converted to an automatic bottle capping machine. Once that's capped, it's moved over to the induction heater machine. Now this machine will put a foil seal on the top of the bottle so that way it can be safely shipped and reduce any chances of leaking and stuff like that. So this was bought online and highly customized. So the way it comes, uh, is very basic. It doesn't allow you to maximize the efficiency of the machine the way it comes. We have some solenoids on here. Uh, one end releases the bottle, the other one holds it for a set time. So that way we can run the conveyor uh, basically at any speed. Um, and if it falls off from that, it just it's, it's one solid way to ensure consistency uh, with budget machinery. So we basically improved this and now it works fantastic uh, and can handle that output with the reliability that we need from this machine. Coming back over here, we have the most complicated part of the system, the bottle filling machine. You'll notice that there's a lot of hoses here and multiple filling nozzles. Primarily, we use this one just one at a time because as the bottles are passing through here, they're usually about a foot apart. It'll stop the conveyor, fill, release, the next bottle's right behind it and that gets filled immediately after. Here on this part, this is a bottle flipper. So as the bottle's laying down, it tips it upright so that way it's ready to move through this machine. And then the bottle labeling machine. So this is a semi-automatic labeler originally from Zap Labeler Systems, I believe is what they're called. I converted this into a fully automatic bottle labeling machine. So when the bottle falls in here, it lands like that. And there's a little uh, vibrator machine uh, here on the side that ensures that this bottle will always fall in there every single time. Once that happens, that sensor connected to the Arduino down here tells it to start turning. 
There's a label gap sensor inside that'll tell it when to stop running and then trigger the ejector. That ejector pushes the bottle out and then it moves down this conveyor. From what I know, we're the only ones ever to do this in such a small space. Um, 600 square foot shop, uh, to pack all of this in here uh, and achieve this volume with that little labor is pretty much unheard of. Once we have the bottles completed, we pack them into what's called a case pack. This is a standardized system. In order to send our product to Amazon and to our local dealers down in Florida, around New York. Now a case pack is 20 bottles in a box. If you don't have a product that beats most, if not all, of the competition, you're going to have a very hard time selling your product. The best products sell themselves. And that's what Seat Reviver does. It is a marine grade mildew stain remover made for boats, particularly boat seats but it works extremely well on fiberglass and all outdoor plastics. We've had a lot of videos go viral on this product. In our first year, Seat Reviver sold over 20,000 bottles. And it's a very exciting chapter because our mission is to produce the top 1% in quality performing products. And what I mean by that is everything that's going to come from this brand is going to be a high performance, top of the line product. Thank you very much for tuning into this video and we'll see you next time.